Hi, this is Steve Marsh with MSPMag.com. Uh, we're here tonight at Sheik's Palace Royale, and we're going to talk to the entertainers and the manager, uh, Julian Royale, about how they're going to get prepared for the Republican National Convention next week. Let's check it out. I've got main stage Mindy Goss. Mindy. Hi, We're here with some of the entertainment staff at Sheik's up in there in the office. Uh, this is Marie, she's a cocktail server. Melanie, she's one of the entertainers. And Mindy, also one of the entertainers. Have you worked with Republicans before? I'm sure we've worked with all of them before. Any tips for the rest of us for hosting these guys? Having fun is a big key, if you ask me. I think you should be prepared for any kinds of questions or things that people want to talk about. Keep them drinking, having fun. <laughs> all, right, all right, nice. Do you guys have any special uh, songs or outfits? You can wear a cowboy hat or cowboy boots for these guys. I do have a few special outfits for features I do here at Cheeks. I have a cowgirl outfit where I dance to country music with a little cowboy hat that I give away at the end. And I also have a snow bunny outfit that'll just be some fun, upbeat, energetic music. Who tips better, Democrats or Republicans, you know? Republicans, definitely. They're fun, friendly, a little bit more willing to spend their money. A little naughtier, the Republicans. <laughs> what kind of shoes are you wearing? Yeah, look, that's aggressive, isn't it? You got any weirdos who come in here and ask you to talk politics? You have, is, that a, is that a fetish? Everyone comes in here to talk to someone for a different reason. This is a place for fantasy and fun. Like right? Fantasies like Franken will get elected or McCain will get elected. <laughs> Dems aren't doing too hot down in uh, down in Denver. What's going on? Well, the reports we're getting out of Denver, and we do in our corporation have six clubs in the Denver market, that the city has the streets corralled and, and blocked and barricaded in such a way that traffic flow is not very easy in downtown Denver. Right. Is it because of the terrorism stuff and the security footprint? I would say it's just basically for protection. They are seeing increase in business, and they're seeing some happiness. It's yet they're not seeing the projection. They're seeing some happiness. Right. They're seeing some happiness. They're not seeing that projection based on what the city has done. Here it works out because you, you, the Twin Cities thing works out perfectly. Uh, all the securities in St. Paul and all the happiness is in Minneapolis. We're very pleased to be on the circuit that we know people are going to be coming to. And we look forward to the increase in business and we look forward to what's going to come in the next seven to ten days. It's all about the happiness in Minneapolis. Candles raise my desire.